What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today, you know what, I had this comment the other day saying that the reason why I didn't improve my competitive programming ranking was because I wasn't using lead code properly. And to that, I'm gonna say, yeah, you might be right. Because uh, I did a lot of easies and like 84 mediums, but when I was to look back at it, a lot of the mediums I did were just array problems. So that was, could be a reason why I didn't improve at all in competitive programming because not all problems are array problems in competitive programming. So maybe that's the reason why I, I didn't improve at all. So you know what, now I think about it, I'm gonna make this video today is just gonna talk to you guys about how to actually use lead code to improve competitive programming. Okay, because I wasn't practicing properly. All right, so first of all, in competitive programming, uh, a lot of problems, like the first two, first two problems are probably math. All right, math or greedy. So let, if you want to improve in competitive programming, um, let's say if you want to use lead code instead, instead of using code forces, what you could do is you could go on these lists of topics, right? And then you click on math, and then you do what? You, here's what you do. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna sort this by hard to easy. Okay, you're not gonna sort it by easy to hard. You're gonna sort by hard to easy. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna pick one easy question one medium question, one hard question. All right, so you just pick, like, I don't know, this one. I have no idea. This one, and make sure the, the, there's more thumbs up than thumbs down. So like this one has a lot of thumbs up. So you pick the, the, the problems that have a lot of thumbs up because the ones that are a lot of down votes, they're pretty bad. So what you're gonna do is now is you're gonna do one easy, one medium. So like just now that was, that was a medium, right? The other one was a medium. So do that medium question, then do an easy question right and then yeah just pick any easy question try to do it uh, make sure they have a lot of upvotes and then do one hard question okay so like uh, try it might be it doesn't have to be super du super duper hard but it could be like I don't know this one the probability of two balls having I don't know distinct balls or something oh no this is this is bad um, that's a bad, that's a bad question but yeah basically do one easy one medium one hard for a math problems. Okay, and then after that, uh, a lot of competitive programming also does a lot of greedy algorithms. So if you want to do practice math, then do greedy. So now you go to greedy, and then just do uh, one easy, one medium, and hard also. So just do like go in here and just do a medium. I don't know, it could be anything. Uh, I don't know. Uh, split split array into consecutive subsequences. Yeah, do do one of these. Right, uh, that's a lot of upvotes. Right, try doing this one. Then try doing uh, an easy. So that's that was a medium, right? And then do do a hard, and then do an easy, right? And then that'll just be your greedy section, and just um, repeat this for like other topics also. And then so after you do math, do greedy, and then do uh, well, what is another thing that competitive program do in division two A and two B? Oh, two pointers. Okay, so do. One easy, one medium, one hard in math. Do one easy, one medium, one hard for greedy, and do one easy, one medium, and one hard for two pointers. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna rinse and repeat, and do uh, actually there's some sliding windows and prefix sum, so like sliding window, some of those. This is a thing in competitive programming also. So you could do like one easy, one medium, and hard for sliding window also. Actually, there's not even that many easies for sliding window. So just pick like, do most of mediums actually. So yeah, do sliding window, do, um, yeah, so do sliding window, do, do math, and do greedy, and do two pointers, okay? And then once you get to a point where you do, like, at least, I don't know, I don't know, like 60 of those, maybe, if you continue repeating, and assuming that you don't actually, you don't actually, uh, as, long, as long as you're not actually, like, just copying the code, actually doing those problems, and... Sooner or later, I think you'll get pretty good uh, at these certain topics. Um, yeah, you should be able to do start getting better in competitive programming. So that's what I'm going to try to do from now on. Um, if I'm going to use lead code to try to get good at competitive programming. And another thing what I'm doing is I'm just, if, if I can't do, yeah, yeah. Another thing I'm, I'm going to do is probably virtual contest, but that's another video later on. But anyway, that's what that's what I'm going to try to do from now on to use lead code to get better at competitive programming. So I'll do like a... Like uh, do math, do greedy, do two pointer, and then do sliding window. Where's the sliding window? Was it? I don't even see it. 
Uh, is, is there a sliding window? There might be something. I don't know. I I saw it earlier. I can't find it. But yeah, do math, do greedy, do two-pointer, do sliding window. And then um, what was another thing that sometimes pops up in competitive programming? Oh, yeah, bit, bit manipulation. That sometimes pops up. So that's like the first Division 2A and 2B problems that I normally see. Um, yeah, so I could get better at those. And there's also prefix sum that comes up sometimes also. So like if we do certain topics, you get better. Uh, I feel like linked lists never show up. Maybe counting shows up it's once in a while, but linked lists never show up. Heaps never show up. I don't know if backtracking ever shows up. I don't know about that. Uh, matrices don't show up. Don't do a bunch of array problems. That doesn't show up. Um, I think in in Division 2 C, dynamic programming does show up. So you could practice that also. But for me, I'm pretty low ranking at this point where I don't think I'll ever see a dynamic programming question in 2A or 2B. So, yeah, until I get to the point where I could hit Cyan, I think I'm not going to practice dynamic programming until I get to that point. But uh, other than that, I think this is that that's a pretty good way to improve in competitive programming. Do one, one uh, using lead code to get better at competitive programming. Do one easy, one medium, one hard, and then just repeat that for like, I don't know, 60 problems. Then that should give you a gist of how to learn better. Because what, what I did before, trying to grind a bunch of array problems, yeah, that didn't really help that much. That just, like, wasted a bunch of potential and wasted a lot of my energy. Like, I, I, I think that that was just a waste of time. Like, I did 200, one, 211 array problems, and then I did, like, 84 array problems, which got me a little better to arrays, but it didn't actually... It didn't, it didn't, it didn't improve my competitive programming skills at all. Because these are just all arrays. Arrays don't... It doesn't really help you that much. So yeah, I would highly avoid doing, like, array problems. And, um... I would avoid array problems. I would avoid heaps. I would avoid design. I would avoid... Uh... Link lists. Avoid union. Find... Avoid... Avoid try. Avoid binary search tree that never shows up. Um, you do bit masks that shows up. Bit masking, bit manipulation shows up sometimes, and I would avoid seg trees do show up, but that's in like division two D. Um, so I would avoid that. Uh, I would also avoid uh rolling. I don't know. I think I don't think so. I don't think combinatorics shows up sometimes for ad coder. But, yeah, I would, avoid, I would avoid link lists. Merge sort, avoid the, these also. So link lists, merge sort, bucket sort, that never shows up. Counting sort, bleh, counting sort never shows up. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what I would avoid. And uh, I don't know what rejection sampling is. I don't think I, I, that ever shows up. So those are the topics I would avoid if I'm trying to use lead code to improve in competitive programming. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I, when I said that LeetCode doesn't improve competitive programming, I was just using it wrong. But I just, like there are some topics that are do like co coincide with each other. It's just that like it's not that like it's not that beneficial. Why not? Why not just do code forces? But yeah, that's just me. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll check you guys later. Peace.